What's going on, nation? What's up? How you feeling out there today? I got a question. What would you do if one of your friends told you that on their spare time they fight gorillas? What would be the first thing to come to your mind? Me, I would look at them and say, you crazy than a motherfucker. Let's get you some help. Please. Or you gonna die. See this gentleman right here? Ah, that was his problem. That was the skeletons he had in his closet. Family man, worked the job, provided for his family. But he had this crazy obsession with fighting gorillas. He was battling this shit for four years, his wife say. You know, that was the death of him. That's him stretched out in the hospital. You know, and what do you expect from a motherfucker fighting a gorilla? You know, private matches in the basement. You fighting the damn primate. You fighting some shit that belong in Jamaica, in Africa. Some damn way in the jungle. That's what that motherfucker do not belong in nobody's basement fighting another human being. And at that, this motherfucker weighed 500 pounds. I don't know how he made it out of there at night. At all. I would think after the first rendezvous, he wouldn't be making it out of there. I got into it with a silverback. And no, nothing got physical at all. We was at the damn zoo. I looked him in his eye. He looked at me. And he thought I was trying to challenge him, which wasn't the case. I was just saying if it was true. I looked him in his eye. This motherfucker came banging on the glass. Scared the hell out of me. Scared of everybody that was in that area. People took off leaving their kids and shit. The other, oh, I guess his cousin or his girlfriend or whatever, jumped up. She ran up. It was just two gorillas. They couldn't get out. But I just looked at this motherfucker wrong, you know? Now, this man was fighting a primate. You know, I read that a gorilla can rip you in half. Yes, they can rip a grown man in half. I want to know what was his secrets. You know, not that I'm going to try it or nothing. Oh, I get it. His secrets was mental illness. This is the type of shit that go on in the world we live in. People just not satisfied with the basic ways of having fun. Sitting there, relaxing with your family, watching some sports, taking your dog for a walk, going to play softball, basketball, or drinking in the bar with your friends. Or better yet, having sex with your spouse. No, I didn't want to do that. I want to fight a damn primate in the basement of my house. Do you feel sorry for somebody like that? Do you? You know, it's hard for me to feel sorry for somebody like that. That's like basically committing suicide. I don't think you should do that. You know, his wife is just as guilty. This, she needed to seek help too. She said it was crazy. She suffered it. How the hell you suffer it? He the one down there getting his ass beat up night in and night out. You know, I don't know. Voice your opinion. Links in the description box. I'm about to get out of here and enjoy the rest of my day. And the moral of the story is, folks, don't do nothing that you know you're not going to be able to win. You know, I mean, I understand they teach you to aim for the stars and do shit like that. But come on, let reality sink in, all right? Fighting a damn gorilla, that's just not what we supposed to be doing. All right, deuces.